Today is what? What, what day is today? Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, and then this is our second lecture for radar plotting. The first one was single target, and we were able to explain about force alteration and speed reduction. As I would like to repeat, there are three ways, three evasive actions to avoid close quarters of pressure. The first one is by way of force alteration. The second one is speed reduction. And the third one is the combination of both force alteration and speed reduction. Now, this morning, our lecture will focus on multiple targets. Okay, multiple targets. We will apply course alteration and speed reduction. So, the most important thing when we deal with multiple targets is just to determine the most dangerous targets among the targets that can be found in the horizon. So, kung kinsa dito ang most dangerous, muna na ang diyan na focus. So, ipo sa pili on ang most dangerous among the four, the five, the seven, the twenty targets na makita niyo sa horizon. Okay? Nya ang gamito na to to determine the most dangerous target. Kung sa may gamito sa criteria, gamit ang call reg. Call reg, especially rule fifteen. Kaniyang rule fifteen mo ni gamit ka yung sa mga inaani. So just apply call reg rule 15 crossing situation and right there and then you will be able to identify which among the targets is considered the most dangerous target. So this morning I have said already around 8 o'clock, 8.30 this morning I sent to you quiz number 2. And then for quiz number 2 that is speed reduction, for, for activity number 3, this is our lecture, activity number three. I have already said on your messenger, you, you please open that one up. So let's start. Our given, we have your own course and speed. Your own course is zero, zero degrees two. And then your own speed is 20 knots. Okay? So, on a, on an event. so what will we do with that? Basing on our previous, the center of the maneuvering board represents letter E. Okay? So you plot first the E to R, 0, 0, 0. So that is northbound. Okay? That is E to R. So, to avoid any confusion, you put the symbol of a vessel right there on R, like right there on E. Para makabalo ka na ikaw na you're heading northbound. Okay, so zero, zero. The next given here, we have two targets, target A and target B. So for target A, okay, the bearing is three to zero. At 10.30, the bearing is 3 to 0. So, if you want to 3 to 0, you can 3 to 0. Diba? Uh, 3 to 0. Na. Okay? So, so, 3 to 0, the distance is 10 nautical miles. So, ato I got to be the middle, eh? you will just come here. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That is 10 nautical miles. So, 3 the pita. Okay? The letter that we are going to put here is R. Letter R. Okay? okay? So, by 10. So, 1, 2, 3. Nine. Next, we will plot the second time of target A, which is 1042. 12 minutes later. I repeat. 12 minutes later, 10.42, it is now 3 to 1. So, 3 to 1. So, bearing 3 to 1. 3 to 1. Okay, moment 3 to 1. Alright. Moment 3 to 1. So, ato lang, i-measure ang pilar. 
lang na 8.5 miles. So, 8.5. Ako na tanong ni Barang hindi tayo. So, 8.5 miles. 1. I'm oh, sorry. 1. Saan ito? Saan ito? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, karoon ako. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, 8 decimal 5. You read? So, ang atong i-label ani, ang atong i-label ani is M. Yeah. So, M. Ang oras ani is what? 10? 42. Ang oras ani is 10? 30. Muna 12 minutes. So, judging uh, from the previous explanations that we have, 12 minutes is 0.2. That is 2, that is 12 minute rule. So, ang una itong buha ito, ato siya ang buha ito na itawa ko RML sa target A. So, target A, kung ano yung target A, the first thing to do is to get first the relative motion line for A. Okay? So, what will we do? Ato tayong i-connect ang R to M. I-connect na ito ang R to M. Okay? So, gentlemen, automatic, this is now the relative motion line for target A. Okay? Yan ay direction na hindi pang hita. What will we do? Atong kwaon, atong dalong sa itong nakas. Yan. So approximately, muna siya mo eh. Okay. Mga 1, 3, 6, ako ihap na lang. Okay, 1, 3, 6. So, ang relative motion line direction is 1, 3, 6 degrees. Okay, muna muna ha. Next thing to do is to determine the closest point of approach in our previous discussion ang closest point of approach can be determined by drawing a perpendicular line to the RML. Muna yung pinakaduol ninyo duha. Kani siya yung duol ninyo, eh? Kana, layo na. Kani mo yung duol, no? Sila may pinakaduol. So, when you draw a 90 degree line to that of the RML, muna na yung pinakaduol. Kani siya, o muna na siya. Yan yung sahaw na ron. Mga one mile. One mile mana. So, kung pakuntan mo ta, what is the CPA of target A ang tubag one nautical mile? Dara, one nautical mile na na. So, nana, kaya at sir. So, yun lang sa nyo, yun lang naman, yun lang nautical mile. Di ba lang tayo, kasi yun lang nautical mile. Yun lang may na. Tibi. Let us not confuse, but when we are using, when we are in the marine profession, we do not use land mines. We use nautical mines. So, okay, sea mines. mines. Understood. Yes. Uh, Ang sea mines is 1,852 meters. Ang land mile is 1,602 meters. Muna yung gigamit sa Amerika. Sa Amerika, minungta, where is San Francisco? Around 500 miles from here. So, you are referring to land miles. You are not referring to sea miles. Ang atong gigamit dito, let us not confuse ourselves, we are using sea miles. That is 1,852 meters. Now, let's continue. Atong gulpinyo tayo, Sir, pangutanan ka, Sir, what is the TCPA? Okay? Type of closest point of approach. Kani siya ang barkuhan ni Carlos Pasa ng Abog Drake. Muli yung ipasabot, TCPA. So, from the previous discussion that we have, ato lang po ako ng distance rate. Yan ha? Kuha na ito na. And then divide by the relative speed here. Oo ba sir? Yes. So, sa may ito po ito? Gamit sa... Yes, ako na yun. Sir. 